Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the elemental energy reading for October of 2024 for the element of air. Air covers the zodiac signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac, you can check that out. There's a video in the description. Um, all of the decks, books, etc. that I use will be linked down there as well. Uh, if you've never had your natal charts read, or you would like to maybe get an updated version or something, <laughs> uh, there's a link in the description, and it's just called Natal Charts, and it's a really good company, it's not sponsored, but they're a really good company. They will get you your basic chart with the 12 houses, all the little planets and symbols, and then they also give a 10 to 20 page, depending on what's in the <laughs> chart. Uh, description and it's really super detailed there's a lot of good information there uh, I go back to mine frequently literally sits next to me on my desk pretty much all the time now um, <laughs> so if you're interested those are in the description uh, with that I'll get started with our I Ching and this is cast the hexagram before the video of course saves a little bit of time there and air you have number 42 it is the hexagram of gain and the text says gain it is favorable to have in view some goal or destination and to cross the great river or sea this month of October air this is really saying you got you need to make sure that you've got things lined up planned out looking forward there's a lot of really positive vibe energy coming in for uh, air in October even though the outside air might be getting colder for those of us in the northern areas, uh, it's really saying things are lining up for you. Things are going to get better. Where are you headed? Because you need to kind of make sure you got that part settled before you start making the steps. So we'll start with our foundational line here, the bottom one. The time is favorable for undertaking great works. Sublime good fortune, no error. Everything's lined up as said earlier everything is in place everything is in play on the positive side are you ready for this are you ready to take those next steps which means do you have a goal do you have a mantra or a foundational practice principle in place if not you can go ahead and pause the video it's really think about that for a minute this next month of October for air is really about setting those intentions because the manifestation energy is going to be a lot more uh, in your field of uh, reference so making sure you've got defined goals not the path to it that will that's the universe's job you set the goal and then you take the next steps as revealed and that's what they're encouraging here so your second place line there was one who enriched him to the extent of 10 peng or tortoise shells so this is about 2100 of them and who would accept no refusal unwavering persistence is a righteous course bringing good fortune the king sacrificed to the supreme lord of heaven good fortune so what's coming in because this is where you don't want to make those plans make the entire path planned out you're setting the goal because the unri the enriching part the king sacrificing to the supreme lord of heaven this is stuff that's coming in to support you. You might set a goal to start a business and all of a sudden you have the investor. You might be setting a goal to buy a house and all of a sudden that particular house you're buying, the price drops. You might get the loan this month. However, that is manifesting for you, but it's not you're setting the final destination. What happens between your where you are right now and final destination is the that's the universe's job, God source divine. But what it's saying is there's going to be outside influences that are supporting you and possibly uplifting you into the positions you're looking for. The third place line, he used a, a excuse me, he used an unfortunate means to gain something, but as he acted in all sincerity, he was not to blame. Walking up the center of the hall to report to the prince, he carried his jade table to the office. So to other people is what I'm hearing here to other people it may appear that you somehow cheated the system 
you didn't because that's where it's saying in all sincerity he was not to blame what happens outside of your purview without outside of your control in most cases is not your fault that's where you act in sincerity by setting the proper proper goal what other people do on their time is their business but you also have you're walking up the center of the hall to report to the prince you're following the middle path and if you understand the tree of life in kabbalah the middle path is the path to enlightenment it's not on severity and it's not on grace you're walking the line between so you understand there's a dynamic and a balance that has to occur in life for life to continue to exist and that's what this is saying is as you're walking through you're carrying your jade tablet of office you're carrying a basically a, uh, a the presence of wisdom they were showing me some interesting images uh, and that's where you were at is you're going up that center path you're the one following your guidance what's going on around you is really not your concern our fourth place line do 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 there we go is he walked up the center of the hall and informed the prince of his fealty it is favorable to be entrusted with the task of removing the capital what do they mean by capital because there's a couple of terms we can go with there we had do, 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 do. sorry double checking just to make sure to be entrusted with a task that would never be given to men of mean ability or lacking virtue okay so we're actually talking about big things here so he walked up to the center of the hall and informed the prince of his fealty so you have sworn allegiance to a higher authority is what this is really saying it is favorable to be entrusted with the task of removing the capital so you are with that agreement with god source divine or however you see the higher power with that agreement you have been given a great deal of respect and honor by people who are in important positions other the lower people's and I'm not saying that to be rude but people's energy frequency that is a lower nature who's a bit more uh, hostile or uh, contradictory those people's opinions really don't matter you've been given because you have proven yourself through integrity through honesty through hard work through loyalty and the universe responds to that now you don't have to work and sweat every day of the week but when you prove yourself in that aspect this is saying these energies are lined up and the right people are noticing and they are actually supporting you in those places you're going to be put in positions where because of that integrity you are able to blo uh, bloom and prosper so our fifth place line is be confident or sincere and kind refrain from asking questions and you will enjoy sublime good fortune faithfulness or sincerity and confidence are virtues proper to you to us as I was saying before when you are able to step out in integrity live with authenticity be honest you don't have to share everything but if someone asks you a point-blank question you can give a point-blank answer now there are eight questions that are asked that are inappropriate or unnecessary to those you can simply say I'd rather not speak to this simple enough but when you live like that when you live in a faithful or sincere manner where you step out in confidence in where you are in life who you are in life and how you appear in life these are actually powerful things because to be able to say honestly I know who I am I know where I'm at your opinion is your opinion now if we can come to a mutual understanding great if not I will let you continue on your path and I will continue on mine and that's kind of where we're going with this is air you've got a lot of positive things going on don't let other people drag you down get the support from the people who are there to help you and uplift you it really doesn't matter what the other people think so our capstone this one here is he did not attempt to ben benefit them and someone struck him for his inconsistency of heart misfortune basically you don't want to prejudice people you don't want to be unnecessarily rude when you are stepping out in authenticity and authority and honesty not authority <laughs> when you're stepping out in authenticity and honesty you don't have to step on other people you can step out and be a shining beacon on your own you don't need to be destructive or disruptive to other people because that's not being that's not showing integrity so if 
through this month, you end up in a situation where you have the temptation to maybe stab that coworker in the back. This is not the month to do that. Or you have that scathing comment that's really not going to benefit anybody and you hold it back. That's great. That's good. Letting that slip and saying that scathing thing, that's where you get into your misfortune part of it. So overall, the I Ching is saying you have an amazing month ahead of you, Air, and it's basically showing integrity. Make sure the first of this month <laughs> that you set your goals, you set your intentions, write them out on your whiteboard, make a vision board in the first part of this month so that you can keep those images going forward. Uh, you also understand that the veil between the realms is thinning because we are coming up upon Sawain, which is uh, Halloween for <laughs> everyone else. And during this month, that's why the manifestation is going to come a little bit easier. This year, Air apparently is going to be getting quite the blessing from that. So definitely prepare yourself for the good that's coming in. With that, we'll hop over to our tarot and oracle cards. I read week to week. There's approximately five weeks in October, so we'll go through five sets. I read a guide or guardian for each week, and that's a guide to help you through the week or a guardian to keep away those unwanted things that pop up. Um, a message from source, which is a positive reassurance, um, affirmation, or support. And then we look at a lesson or challenge from the tarot. A lesson is something to work on. A challenge is maybe a heads up about something that might be coming in. Um, and sometimes these messages come through to me, one, two, three, four, five, but for you they might be four, three, two, one, five. However it works, uh, go with that. So <laughs> we'll get started and your first week's guide or guardian is the goddess Terra and Tibetan Quartz. Her eye is ever open and it says, I acknowledge that my inner light is growing stronger, shining brighter, and becoming more visible. I relax in the understanding that the brighter the light, the more powerful the spiritual protection um, that I generate for myself and all beings. I shine fearless and true with respectful boundaries that honor the needs for all beings to choose their own path. I attract and emanate a high level of spiritual guidance, wisdom, and protection for all. You're starting things off, just like with the I Ching talking about this month set your intentions early prepare yourself meditate and bring your energy up to a higher frequency uh, magnesium or epsom salt baths however you come want to call that is a good way to help ground out some of the negativity get yourself in that right mind space um, working with tibetan quartz but i'm also hearing amethyst or aquamarine are also good stones to work with this first week because they're going to uplift your energy and help you connect with your higher frequencies. So this first, your guide for the first week is definitely setting you up for success. Uh, let's see what the message from Source is. We have King Tide, plenty, prosperity, receiving the fullness of life. The doors of heaven are open to you. The doors of life are in your favor at this moment. And I was just seeing what the little symbol there was. It's actually the symbol for um, fire, but you're still in the energy and the essence of expansion and growth. You have a guide or guardian coming in this first week saying, let's elevate our energy because we want to get ready for what's coming. God source divine is saying, you have plenty prosperity. Are you willing to receive the fullness of life? And in that case, what is it that you're looking for? For in this moment what is the next big goal you've accomplished a lot in your life so far what's the next thing let's work together elevating your energy building that focus and setting yourself up for the success that the universe wants to bring in is what I'm hearing so let's take a peek at well that card just jumped out of the deck so <laughs> your lesson or challenge is the nine of air expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights the message from source is saying, what do you want? Let's work on this. Let's set yourself up for success. The nine of air is actually kind of giving you a little bit of a heads up. Don't allow the self doubt to get in the way. Don't allow other people's opinions to show up. That's that unnecessary worry because this month 
what you're focusing on is what's going to be brought into your life. The self-fulfilling prophecies, I want this, but I'll just never have it. I can't even believe I'm trying this. Okay, self-fulfilling, there it's, it's gonna come. Or you can change those affirmations to, you know what? This has been something in the past that I have not been ready for. I, in this moment, I am ready to receive whatever it is you're working on. So when you have those self-doubt feelings, change it to, in the past, that's what I felt. In this moment, this is where I'm going. That way you're changing the frequency. And this first week, you have some pretty powerful guides and messages just in the first week saying, let's look over here and head this positive direction. And the lesson or the challenge is when those negative things pop up, can you separate them out or can you flip the story to make it a more positive outcome? So let's take a peek at our second week's guide or guardian. And we have, come on deck, talk to me. <laughs> of course, it wants to be uh, uncooperative. There we go. We have our second week is, oh, interesting. <laughs> the goddess Kali and Black Obsidian. And it's sacred revolution. I release all allegiances to the old cycles, opening my soul to the birthing process of the Divine Mother, who guides me into the highest fulfillment of my potential. An entirely new order is being established. In respect of this greater unfolding power, I am willing to be moved, inspired, and guided to embrace new approaches and responses. I possess the courage required for change. I trust that the universe loves me, and so I let it grow. When Kali shows up, there's a lot of things that can go on. <laughs> she uh, can be very terrifying when she's in her warrior state, but in this aspect, you're more seeing her in the aspect of Kali Ma, which is her motherly aspect. Very protective, you still don't want to make this mad, but she's coming in to be like, let's work on some things. Black Obsidian is going to help ground out the negativity, help keep the haters, if you want to use that term, at bay. But when Goddess Kali comes in and is saying, let's flip the story, she's saying, we're going to cut ties with the emotional aspects of your past. The lessons were important. That's what made you who you are today. But we don't need to carry all this baggage with us of the emotions, the hurt, the negative feelings, code cutting, sending that back. Well, you don't need that. You need the lessons. You don't need the rest of it. And so that's what she's saying. And with that as a guide, Pay really close attention to your dreams, your gut feelings, especially those ones where it raises the back, the hair on the back of your neck. Um, Kali likes to be a little bit more dramatic at times when how she manifests and talks to you. So just pay attention to those little feelings because usually she's trying to tap you on the shoulder saying, there's something here we can work on. Pay attention. So <laughs> your message from source is the lady of the lake, new beginnings, something is about to happen. The second week of October is full of divine feminine energy and with that it's also saying you are in a process of birthing a new existence you are in the process of birthing a new life for yourself the universe is conspiring in your favor this is why that first week was so important to set your intentions because in this second week you're making space so that intention that manifestation can actually come through for you so Let's take a peek at our lesson or challenge. Also with the Lady of the Lake, it's again calling you to self-care for specifically bathing. And they're really wanting to bring that one forward. So whoever needs to hear that, it's really, you're, <laughs> go for it. Um, but it's also with the Lady of the Lake. She brings forward Excalibur in the uh, lore around Camelot to King Arthur. Basically, this is what grants him his authority. Meaning, you have been granted and given the tools to succeed this month. Are you going to use them? So, let's look at your lesson or challenge. We have the King of Earth, generous, professional, responsible, and practical. A successful time, confidently accepting opportunities you're offered. <laughs> uh, and the Midas Touch. This is a lesson. Are you ready to step into your authority? Are you ready to step into that life that you have been craving, that life that you have been wanting? You've been dreaming about it. Are you ready to accept it? That is the lesson of this uh, second week. And that's why you have the Divine Feminine saying, we're coming in. We're going to help you birth this new life. 
You ready for this? That's the question you have to answer. I can't answer it for you. <laughs> uh, your third week's guide or guardian is the Ascended Master White Matthew. Not sure who that is. And Dan Barite is your stone. It is the original self is your is the headline of your message. I discover, define, and delight in my true self. I choose to dwell in the pure-hearted center of my being where there is truth, grace, love, and goodwill. I dare to be my higher self. I trust in the guiding intelligence of my soul that it knows what it is and what it is meant to become. I stand true in my unconditional loving self. Knowledge I am as I am meant to be. I am real, authentic, and original. This third week is where you step into your authenticity. This third week is where you are stepping more into your integrity, where you may have tried to hide some of your gifts, your skills, or your talents in the past. This week, it doesn't mean you flaunt them. That's not what we're saying here. We, they are saying. <laughs> what they're bringing up is this third week is the time where you get rewarded for the hard work, the honesty, and the integrity. Rewarding is going to come in different ways for different people, so however that shows up for you. But this third week, you're going to get the recognition for the work that you're doing. Um, and it's going to come in a very interesting way, is what I'm hearing. And, and in the moment, it may not feel like this is a good thing. You're like, wait, you just gave me more responsibility? Great. But there's an aspect to that that's actually going to work out big time in your favor, is what I'm hearing. S but this week, it's because of the integrity. It's because of... The hard work as it said in the I Ching you went to the prince and pledged your fealty and you were given a great task this is the week where that could be manifesting for you your message from source is the sirens use your voice expansion and freedom the sirens through their song could lure <laughs> this isn't the best lore uh, men sailors to their demise because they would sing on the other side of a rocky outlet people would go towards it crash their ships but the siren song is beautiful. The siren song is something that draws people to you. Your integrity is a shining beacon. Your authenticity is going to help people be like, I don't know what it is about them, but I need to go over there. And it might be like physically coming to work on your project if you're in a team building type situation. Or it could be they want to work on your shift, or it could be just you make new friends this week. Pay attention because the siren song isn't always on the up and up it has some interesting side effects but what this is saying is when you stand in that authenticity and show your integrity you're going to draw people the right people to you you might have to weed out some of the less pleasant ones but that doesn't mean that you're not going to get a benefit out of it so let's take a peek at your lesson or challenge we have the seven of water a complex decision the need to do research stop procrastinating in all decisions in life, everything that you do, there's always an aspect of doing a little digging, finding out the truth behind it. The Seven of Water is saying you have all the tools and they were shown to you a little bit more clearly. You already knew what they were, but they were brought forward, maybe is a better word, in the second week. This third week, this is a time to dig deeper. You are given an opportunity. You're given a lot of new possible responsibilities that you're not sure about if this is good or bad. That's where the seven of water comes in because this is when you look a little deeper dig a little more what's going on here and that's a, a good lesson just in life in general because there's times when we do need to look into something you know they say never look a gift horse in the mouth well that was fine in the 1800s <laughs> but nowadays it's always a good idea to double check a few things before you say yes or no and it's going to be within a week. They're not saying this is going to be a long-term thing where you're going to have a lot of opportunity. It's going to be a short window of time is what I'm hearing. So when that opportunity arises, research as fast as you can and follow your instincts. Your instincts are going to surprise you by how accurate they really are in most cases. So your fourth week's guide or guardian is the Ascended Master Kathumi, and your stone is Moss Agate, beautiful stone sacred ecosystem it, the universe provides me with spiritual energy and charismatic magnetism to attract all beings in need of my light so i can fulfill my highest destiny as a healing presence within this world i accept my place in the greatest divine scheme 
embracing supportive connections in the spiritual world and in the material world as well with the understanding that my fulfillment and the fulfillment of all beings is divinely intertwined i give myself permission to plug in and receive this week is going to really be focusing on getting yourself ready for the manifestations things you've been working on things you've been dealing with what we've talked about already in the video but this fourth week is saying you're about to walk into a really good part of your life again different for everybody making sure that you're ready you got that that junk cleaned out you got those cords from the past energy that you don't need anymore have you opened the doorways to prosperity and abundance are you you know meditating to raise your frequency reading the bible chanting praying however that's manifesting for you but this fourth week is really a good time to do a quick check-in is what i'm hearing so your message from source is da, 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 da. gentle force consistency persistence patience the long game you're about there you're all, this is where you have that patience this is where that persistence you've been doing the right thing you've been going through the motions you've been taking the steps it's not forceful as we talked about with I Ching there's gonna be work to do and it might be a little harder than what you thought but you're not forcing the outcome you're taking the next steps as they come you're doing the things you're you know acknowledging the parts of it that are yours the parts you need to clear out and the stuff that's not yours throw it away and as you're doing that you're doing so in grace and gentility you're not forcing you're not coming up against this isn't mine i'm gonna beat my fists against it if it's not yours go around it it's not your problem <laughs> and that's what they're saying here is what you're doing this month what you've done this month looking back has not been forceful it has been taking the next steps the logical next things doing the work to prepare you when you elevate your frequency, struggle and force are still around, but you no longer see the necessity of, I have to do it that way, because you really don't need to do it that way anymore. So <laughs> tapping into that higher frequency and energy is where you're at with this fourth week. Your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the eight of fire. Events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. This is where a little bit of that chaos energy is coming in. When this fourth week is going forward, it's definitely a reminder to stay focused, do things gently and gracefully, because there's a lot of moving parts. I mean, this card is very busy. There's a lot of wands, dragons, flying all around the center wand, because this is your intention, but all these ones are kind of just buzzing around. So you've got a lot of, there's a lot of moving parts is what I'm hearing. Stay focused on the goal at hand. Everything else, the universe is playing puppet master out there, getting, you know, conspiring in your favor. So don't worry about all the side quests. You have one primary mission, and that mission is the goal, dream, ambition that you've been working towards. Stay focused on that. Those other projects either will be there once this one is done, or they're going to fall into place to support where you're going now. So. Let's take a quick peek at our last week of October. Can't believe it's October already. I don't, I'm not sure there's others out there who feel the same. Um, let's see here. We've got, ooh, this is cool, because I mentioned this in the first week. Uh, it's amazing how that happens. We have the angel Bath Coal and Aquamarine is your guide or guardian for the fifth week. So this is, again, bringing that energy up and really tapping into who you are. This card is the authentic voice. My authentic voice awakens truth, clarity, and courage within myself and others. My voice supports the opening of my soul. I trust that truth expressed with love brings spiritual benefit to all beings. The authentic messages from my soul, shared with generosity and grace, are recognized and received. My soul wisdom knows how to express what needs to be shared efficiently and for the highest good i accept and express the uniqueness of my authentic voice and tune into what resonates deeply for me i choose to live the truth of my soul this fourth week guide or guardian is saying you've done the work you've stepped foot on the path 
you've been moving as the universe has opened the doors the opportunities have shown up your choices have kind of steered the ship here this fourth this fifth week is really saying you've done the work are you ready to accept who you are authentically a lot of people you know you will do this a lot just so we're uh, just so i'm clear you're not going to do this once and be like look i'm done no you're not <laughs> you have another layer to go through and when you get to that next layer you're going to discover i'm done no you're not you got another layer to go through so this month was really about peeling away some of the uh less you parts of you and now by the end of the month of october you're going to notice there's some changes and shifts going on because you have more you have more understanding of the person that lives between your ears that soul energy of who you are this is just a meat suit that we wear for the moment but what goes on inside and within the sphere of your energy field is more of who you are by the end of this month you will have come to a different understanding of who you are maybe a little bit deeper maybe a little more eye-opening but this month is about growth and expansion for you air and that's what we're seeing in this last week is you're now a bit more ready to be your authentic self that's not easy that's a huge challenge that takes courage and you've got that courage within you you have message from sources the pink dolphin celebration fun unbridled joy and open heart when you step into your authentic existence your heart opens your third eye opens too but we're not talking about that right now um, when you step into that authentic uh, part of who you are your heart is now able to see clearly you see the love you see the joy you see that life has its ups and downs but what are you focusing on are you focusing on the valleys the miserable parts are you focusing on the top where the joy is even when you're in those dark points you can see the light of both sides of that equation so you can move back to that light period remembering the light the joy the happiness it lifts the darkness away from where it was and that's the focus of what we're going with here so one more card for our lesson or challenge and we have <laughs> the magician which is number one in the tarot it is Archangel Raziel you are ready you have the resources or abilities to manifest life is magical the end of the month general reminder great lesson has been had this month you have the tools you have the gifts you have the skills you also have the connections to other people which has been a theme through the guides you have this ability to draw the right people to you the magician coming in at the last week as a lesson or a challenge is most definitely a reminder you have the ability to create what you want in life is it gonna be easy maybe maybe not you never know but are you willing to put in the effort are you willing to do the inner work the meditation the changing the thought patterns from looking at the doom machines and looking to the heavenly machines where you're shifting your awareness away from the negative and more into the positive flow of existence when you step into the positivity when you step into sincerity life in general just becomes better you're speaking an authentic with your authentic voice you've come to a higher awareness of who you are those are all tools that you can use to continue to build a life of your dreams the life you ever wanted to you know all those fun things they talk about in the secret and abraham hicks and all of those type of things they don't talk about how much inner work some of them glaze over the top but there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes that's where you do the inner work you're cutting those cords and you're doing all the things that's where the magician comes in your spiritual guides guardians god divine are all there to help support you but the ball is in your court you are the one that makes these decisions there's things that may appear that they are happening outside of your control but what led up to it you have a lot more say in your life than I than some people realize air you love to analyze everything start with this where are you at this month of October where do you want to be by the end of it and set those intentions and start heading towards that goal with that we'll wrap things up here uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and got something out of it if you did hit that like button drop us hit a subscribe if you're new here um, let me know your thoughts feelings and opinions in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video